<clears throat> uh, good Tuesday evening to everybody. This is uh, Tenacious Sports YouTube channel and um, been in a soccer kick here of late. Uh, I had this project that I've gotten started and it's a rather lengthy one. And I did a video a couple of days ago that was surrounding um, stats and using Excel for stats. And I showed a little bit of the back end. This is what, how you could take your stat. I showed you the stat table, which this is here. This is the player stat table. I showed you taking basically what you load into here and turning it into other things but um a follower of the channel a uh, friend of the channel um larry rice remarked that it might be interesting to see how exactly i do the stat entry of this and you know it what i needed at that point uh, to be frank, was stats to put in, right? So I played this game here, Burnley hosting Aston Villa, and Villa won 2 nothing. Actually, I forgot to write down the rest of the score. Nobody scored in the second half, so 2 nothing was the final. Um, and so this is the sheet that I generate here. You can... Um, see what I do is I just take tick marks and I put them on the sheet here and then what I will do is use this data to load into this other chart and I, I have some other tick marks here you can see the scoring both in the first half but um, so then how how exactly I mean this stat entry for me is pretty quick um, you know depending on your project it may be more laborious, uh, but let me just move this a little bit so I can get my, I want to get my keyboard up here so I can use it as I'm typing. So it might be a little more laborious, but for me, it's, it's pretty quick and maybe for you it will be as well, depending on what your project is. So let's come back here. So just to go and give another quick explanation before I get going too far. Um, the different columns here, this is game number. So in this case, I think, I believe this is game number 25. Then the team, then the player, if he started, number of minutes he played, goals that he scored, assists that he contributed, shots on goal, shots that were missed. So basically the, if you take, if you were to take shots total, and subtract out shots on goal, that would give you the missed, although I just tally them here. Uh, the, the committed fouls by the player, the fouls that were committed on him that another player did, and he, if he earned a yellow, if he earned a red, actually if he learned, earned two yellows, that would also be marked here. Uh, and then a couple of save categories, uh, goals against, or goalie categories, let's say. So, um, that's what this table is here. And then there's some over on this side, there are a few calculated that I don't need to enter, but let's go down and start to take a look at, um, how I do this. So I've got to scroll all the way down here and you can see, we're going to end up down here around where I'm already at record six sixty eight in this particular table. So there's a lot of records generated, but so I know this is game 25. It's the next one on the list. So if you notice, this table here has like some lines. You see how it's got, it's it's called banded rows. If I go in here into table design, see how right here it's checked banded rows. Um, it, it, it isn't under 24, right? But if I were to type 25 here, all of a sudden that next one becomes banded. It detects it immediately. That this is a table. But now what I like to do from here, so if I just drag 25 down, it's going to enumerate it. It's it's smart enough to say, oh, well, you want to, if you, you, oh, no, it isn't. I thought it would do that. Let me see. Is it, 
no, there are, there are times when it will actually enumerate. Maybe if I put, so what's the first team? Burnley. So I have data validation here. You can see here under abbreviation list, I, have, I can do Burnley. Maybe if I do this fill down, let's see. No, it still detects it as that. So maybe it's smart. Let's see, what, what happens if I do this? There you go. That's the problem. So what I found was a trick was if I don't put this in right away, then I can just, what I like to do is I know that I have 11 players that are starters for each team. And I have three subs usually. Now in this game, I only had two for Aston Villa. Because of that, I only have 27 players. So what I'll do is I'll take... I'll put the first number in, and then I'm going to click down with my arrow keys and hold shift. So I'm going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 14 plus 13, 27. I'm going to hit control D. It'll fill down game 25. So these are all the rows I'm going to need. Now what I'll do is I'm going to put in the first team, Burnley. I could type this. I have data validation, but you could type it in as well. I'm going to put yes. For did they start? So I know at least the first um, nine guy, the first eleven guys are gonna be starters. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down. All fourteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And it will fill all those in. I'm going to put no for these guys because these last three are substitutes. And I'm going to put 90 here. And I'm going to fill him down the first 11. And I already have that figured out because I already have the yeses, right? And then I could save the... I'm going to do this when I start. So now what I have to do is I have data validation. So the first player is Chris Wood. So if I click on... I can either click on Wood. The other thing I could do is I can actually type it in here. And I also have like autofill. So once I already start to put the WO in there, I already have wood and I can just hit enter and it already is in there. So I could do Vidra, it has it, Rodriguez. See, so see, it. I had Rodriguez is who I wrote down here, but there's multiple Rodriguez's in the league. So I had to put a little extra tag there. So it's probably comma J. So there. So I have that. That's then I can do McNeil, uh, Goodmanson, me, Westwood, Tarkowski. So I mean, like when you're in an Excel table, it, if it's continuous, um cells if you don't have any breaks in it it's gonna it's gonna give you like it's gonna pick list it for you like uh it's gonna try and autofill so there's charlie taylor and pope and then the subs were brady cork and barnes and that's gonna want to do it's gonna need harrison bar or not harrison uh ashley barnes so it's got the a there so now Brady came in the 61st minute, so that means he played, you have to subtract 61 from 90, that's going to be 29 minutes he played. And he came in for uh, Good Munson, so Good Munson will be 61. So I'm, I'm going to change just the guys. So Court came in in 70, Barnes as well, so both of them played 20 minutes. And you, when you do the stats for these, you don't include stoppage time. So uh, Taylor came out, that's, he played 70. And Vidra came out. He played 70. So that's how I at least seed those first columns for this. Some of it's just auto-filling and learning the tricks of how to do that. So then Wood. So nobody scored any goals. So let's just go over here. So two shots on goal for Wood. Two missed shots. And two fouls suffered. So that's that row. I have one missed. Two fouls committed. No foul suffered. Two, one, one. 1-1, one, 1, one, and then 1 suffered, no committed fouls. So then me is, he had a one shot on goal, one missed shot, and then a foul suffered. 
Uh, two fouls suffered for Westwood. Uh, one missed, one foul committed. Two committed for Lowton, and he had a yellow card issued against him. Uh, nothing at all for Taylor. Uh, one suffered for Pope, and then we're going to make sure and put the goalie data in here. He allowed two goals on seven shots, and then he had five saves. And then there were there was no data generated. There no, no not, nothing happened with Brady, Cork, or Barnes, the the subs. So that's that. So there's half of the game. Then the other half is Aston Villa. And again, we're going to put yes. Now this time, I, I could just take this and do the fill down the whole way. But I'm going to only do the final two as no, because there are only two substitutes. And then I'll do 90. I like to just hold shift and press the down arrow. It's a lot quicker. That, I mean, it, it depends. It's kind of like um, sometimes it's quicker one way or the other, or whatever you're in the mood for. Uh, whether you drag that little corner right there, you see where it goes from like the, um, looks like a D-pad on a joystick to this where it's just crosshairs. When you do that, that's when you can fill down. But, um, all right, so this, let me get these in here. Watkins, Grealish, Traore, and this is probably, uh, yeah, uh, Bernard, right? Or Bertrand, excuse me. Trezeguet, McGinn, Luis, that's probably a D for, no. Let's see. So if you ever run into the, one of these cases where you're not sure what you actually put here, just do the little click down. And so he's just straight up Louise. That's it. Bingo. Kanza. And you could do it also this way. So if you wanted to do, okay, next is Mings. I can pick Mings. Uh, cash. You got to scroll down for cash. Target. With two T's, then Martinez, the goalie. You could have a space in here. Actually, what you could do is you could just have it from a feeder table for when you do your stats to have what the position is if you wanted to. Now, Ramsey, right there, and he was a J. And then Nakamba, right by him, right there. So, Ramsey, six, so he came in 64th minutes, so that's 26 minutes. And he came in for Trezeguet, 64. McGinn came out in the 80th minute, so that's 10 minutes for Nakamba, defensive sub. And now we'd go ahead with so we, uh, with the stats for Aston Villa. One shot on goal, one missed, and one foul committed, one foul suffered for Ollie Watkins. Grealish had an assist. He had two shots on goal, one missed shot. Two suffered, one missed shot for Traore, uh, shot on goal for Trezeguet, missed shot, two fouls committed, one suffered, a goal for McGinn on one shot on goal, a foul committed and he got a yellow on that and he suffered one. So you can see here how I, I'm just, let me, let me pull this right here. And I will get to your questions there in a second, Larry. But you can see how I'm getting this data. So Trezeguet was uh, a shot on goal, one missed, two committed, one suffered. And here's like your yellow. I put the minute of the yellow card, just it's the way I do it. Um, let me go back to this other screen. And I, I'm almost, I'm pretty much almost done here. So Douglas Luis, he earned an assist on the Kanza goal, so we haven't gotten to Kanza yet. He, Luis missed two shots, and he suffered. Kanza had a goal, a shot on goal, uh, two fouls committed, one suffered, and a yellow. Mings had a shot on goal, so that's where uh, you saw uh, Pope having all those saves. Uh, foul committed for cash, missed shot for target, foul committed by the goalie, Martinez, and he 
No goals allowed. Three shots faced. Three saves. And so that's all that. Now you're, you're asking about data validation. So um, if you want to do data validation for um, this column here, let's say. Well, let's start with this one. Do data validation. You go to the data tab up here at the top. And then over here, there's this guy right here, this button. Uh, can you, it's hidden, it's hidden, so give me a second. It's possible you could copy and paste from the last game uh, some of that stuff, potentially. Um, especially if you were in a situation where you had mostly the same starting players every time. Okay, so you have these data tools here. This guy right here is your data validation. So, um, let me see. Maybe the best thing to do is just to open up a new tab here and then go ahead and say data val. Uh, let's let's uh, let's first go. Let's let's go. Let's uh, format as a table just for the generics there we go all right so let's say we want to use the team list here so let's go back to data and then data validation you click on this and so let's go from a list okay then we have to go to the source I'm gonna to go to my player names table over here and let's just or you could just click can you click that Um, what happens if I just type ab list? Let's try with an at. Um, let me see something in this. Maybe this will give me a clue. Oh, I'm in the wrong uh, wrong column there. Oops. Equals A, B, B. All right, so that's why. So is this, if I go to table designs, it doesn't say A, B, B. But somewhere along the way, I must have assigned this as A, B, B. So you could do that, or I think you could also, if you wanted to, let's, let's start with this. Let's go data data validation let's say from a list and let's say equals abb and let's make sure that okay so there so my list here should be available okay now let's let's uh let's change this let's let's clear okay let's hope it didn't clear other ones Okay, it didn't. Good. Just that one. I'm like, I, I hadn't tried that before. So let's try data validation. This time, let's go to list, but let's choose under player names. Let's just choose this list here like that. Okay, so this should also again be here. Now, in this case, I could I could have done it without. So let's go control Z. going to remove the data validation. Let's click it again. Let's go list. But instead, let's say, you could just pick the list itself, right? There you go. If you do that, now it should, it won't have that header in there, right? It's got all of these rows. The other thing about scrolling through this, if you click the center, it scrolls quick. If you, if you click close to it, it scrolls kind of slow anyway. Um, another thing that you could do with this is you could say, I don't want to drop down. So then you've got to be forced to do, oh, uh, AVI and it will, like if you do AVE, it's going to say, ah, that's not going to be good. So you could also, uh, so maybe that's the whole point of da data validation. You could also, if you wanted to say, uh, 
you could you could put your own message in there like oh this is uh, a list found on tab blah 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 if you want to do that so anyway and then and then in this case let's let's just do this so for the data validation um, and again I'm gonna have to look at how I s made the syntax on this B so okay so that's so what you need to do if you wanted to then say okay so this is actually a pointer if I go over here you see all of these titles so because these are titled the way they are if I go over here and say okay I want to do data validation on column 2 I want this to be my player name if I again put list but then say equals indirect so when you use the, the function indirect, it means uh, do whatever is in this cell. So if I go indirect A3 and put that is that, now it's going to give me that list. What, whatever, A, you know, Aston Villa, any of those guys. If I go MUT, it's going to bring up Manchester United's players, Bruno Fernandez, Harry Maguire, Rashford, all these guys. So it's pretty convenient. It will change with whatever you put there as your team so it's it's really a nice way to and and the reason that this is great is when you do all of your stat compilation in the end you want it to find the same players each time you don't want to have uh where Grealish for whatever reason you ended up uh, putting an E for the instead of the I in Jack Grealish's name and so it's got not only Grealish but it has the wrong spelled Grealish and so it's got two different players you want to have the same player every time so when it sums and does all that stuff it's finding the player itself and not having incons inconsistencies now for my team stats basically the same thing now the only thing I haven't done yet which would be very helpful to me would be to come up here so you see how this is like a, a, a title bar like a, a header row you come up here to view and you can go freeze panes and freeze your top row so when you come down here it's always there it's pretty nice so I'll put 25 and I'm gonna go Burnley first again now I need to look at my sheet here well Burnley has no goals at all that they scored and I put yeah so now for the next batch are the goals scored by their opponent. So, uh, and I got to see. Um, McGinn was not a set piece. And what was the other one? Kanza. Kanza was off a free kick. So that's a free kick goal. So they had one regular goal scored against them and one free kick goal. Er, let's see. Yeah, we'll call that a free kick. Well, you know what? We're not going to call that a free kick. It, 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 he didn't take the free kick itself. So I consider a free kick goal when it goes in straight off the kick, the kicker's foot, right? So uh, two goals against just regular. So then I go to my sheet here. Shots on target for Burnley three, seven for the opponent. And we just keep going in here and it's gonna, it'll take me just a couple of seconds to do the rest. And I do for and against. Committed seven, eight, suffered fouls, one yellow card for them, two for, oh wait, I only do yellow and red, I don't do opponents uh, in this table, uh, corner kick nine, six, offside zero, four, and possession numbers 92 and 94, no penalty kicks. And then I'll just do the second one here. If, if you didn't have any interruptions in anything, when you hit, were if you were to hit enter there, it would take you back to the beginning. I did interrupt it. So I'm going to put the next one, at Aston Villa. And they had two goals scored. We can just fill in zeros across. You probably can just ignore putting zeros in as well. I do in this table. I don't in the other one. Um, it's up to you. 
it'll figure it out either way. Uh, seven three. The, some of these numbers are just the inverse of what I put in for Burnley. Eight seven. Now the yellows are and reds are just for that team only. Four zero ninety four. 92 and 0, 0, and that's that. So there is all my stat entry. I'm going to hit save up here at the top. You can't see it because my stupid window's covering it, so the save is right up here. I'll hit it again. And now I'm going to want to close this because it's um, because it will give some air sometimes if you have these things continuing to be open. It's going to say Oh, it's currently in use. So we open up my, my stat tracking table. Actually, at this point, I can, uh, let's see. Let's just remove that. So what I'm going to do is come over here. And in theory, this standing should update itself based on other stuff. So let's get rid of this. I, again, I have this figured out where I've, I've done the refresh all in this little quick access toolbar. So if I hit refresh all, let's see, does Aston Villa move up? Uh, what just went on there? Ew, what just happened there? Let's refresh all again. Got rid of my draw for some reason. What? Where are the draws? And Aston Villa didn't move, did they? What happened to my standings? <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men, eh? Um, let's go back into design. You know, uh, pivot table analyze field list. What did happen here? So draw got the unchecked. So maybe this isn't all, uh, uh, or wait, mm. maybe this isn't all rainbows and butterflies. Mm. So team stat table. Oh. That's why. Remember, I told you I needed to fix this, and I haven't yet. So because I didn't drag this down yet. And let's see. Now, now, it will, <laughs> now it will probably be fixed here. Let's see. But it's still, it's still a little wonky. So what I'm going to end up having to do is reconfigure my previous table to include that stuff that I didn't have before. And that's that's going to make things a little poopy, but that's okay. So yeah, Aston Villa, <laughs> a good start of their season, mostly because they had some really poor opponents. Burnley down in the drop zone. So anyway, not all perfect, but again, I'm still kind of like learning this. So do we have stuff? Yeah, so Aston Villa's now played three games. You got McGinn, Kanza both with their goals. You have Louise with an assist. So you got two yellows from McGinn. That's right. Why is this? Oh, because it's bold. That's why. Uh, team leaders. Aston Villa is up there with uh, point differential? Goal differential is what I think I wanted to do. Yeah. Six for Aston Villa scored. They have, uh, they're tied for first in team defense. So, um, shot average, shots per game. Aston Villa coming right up there. Good. So that's 
Let me see something. The team. Oh, uh, you could definitely set it up to where you, some of that team stuff could be summed from players. I, I haven't really gotten to that point yet. Um, there may be some snafus. Well, it, it, in theory, it should work. Especially if you put... If you link the game number in one table with the game in your player table, right? Or, or if you if you if you build that off of the same the game number, then you could just say, okay, well, right? I mean, that could be a key to then make sure that you get only the stats that are accumulated from that game. Or I mean, you could just do uh, let's let's accumulate all player stats that are under AVI, right? You could do it that way too. Uh, any changes in this stuff here? Oh wait, that's the stat table uh, leaders. Well, Trezeguet, he he already had two goals. Anything with assists? This is another thing that's bugging the you know what out of me is every time there is a bit of a change, I lose. Like you can see here that it, it, the the Aston Villa guys. And the Burnley guys are now not centered. That's kind of... It's a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm going to have to do some searching around and see if I can find a way to make sure that these things aren't... Um, you know, what it could be is because it's adding new things in, then it doesn't have that formatting for it. So... Um, you know, the other thing could be is that maybe if this is formatted as such, let's try refreshing all now. Maybe this will help. Maybe? No? One time? Nah. It was worth a shot. I was hoping maybe if I made this table... Center, if I centered the team, then the team would show up centered over here. But, um, but I don't know. Maybe it will next time. Now that I've done it that way, maybe if it's if that's already, and maybe and the pointer table is set to be centered, it will always be next time. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, that's that. Looks like I had that data summing in the last table. Um, I did have some data uh, summing right here, right? This is this was. See, the trouble with this is this isn't automatically extending when I do the refresh, and so if I do, so if I let's go ahead and reopen stat entry, it may give me some some flack here because I have, but so on the player stat entry, I do have these things summing here. And so when I started doing this guy in this entry table, I did have that there. And then I said, well, maybe I'll just do it in the other one. I might make it cleaner if I had it doing it here. And then when I did that, I then realized that it kind of like, it's not cleaner. So it, I could very easily just go ahead and well, I can easily set it up here to do these calculations in this table because I can just do, go like, okay, let's go. Um, if you click on the table, insert table column to the right. All right, let's go back to stat tracking. And what's the first one? Well, it would be win. So let's go and say, so this is going to be win. And we're going to, and it may, this may also like mess me up because if I'm, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to see if it starts yelling because I have data in, it won't, it can't expand over it. If I don't hit refresh, it should be fine. But so if I go equals, if AE2 
is greater than a f2 1 0 there so that calculates wins and I can insert another one and insert another one so we'll do draws and losses same thing just if AE2 equals AF2 1 0 So that catches if the goals scored and the goals against are the same. And then we'll go if equals if a at, we'll say if AE2 is less than AF210. Just kind of keep them consistent like that. All right. So there's that. So then what's my next? See, when I do this, it's going to destroy the other thing. So then my points. So let's go and let's insert another one. It's just going to destroy what I've already built as far as some of the uh, the standings and stuff. I'll just have to build another one, but that's okay. Because I'm going to have to do this at some point anyway. Equals if AH2 equals 1. That's going to be 3 points for a win. If AI2 equals 1. That's going to be 1 point for a draw. And none for a loss. And then we can just put the final two parenthesis and it will do it and all is well with that now what do we have what are the final columns here adjusted points and possession percentage okay so again what you got to do is you got to keep inserting so you got to have you got to have your table highlighted and it's best to do it on this last row or this last column so then you hit insert table column to the right we're going to put uh, adjusted points, and that's going to equal AK2 plus, and I'm going to take the point or the goal differential for the game, age, oh, whoops, plus, you need a parenthesis here, AG2, which is the point differential, times 0. We're going to, we're going to give it six decimal places so you can see here it gives it a a little tag on the end of it this is so when we and i mentioned the last video so when we sum them it different it it builds in the it, it makes the sorting a little easier or the ranking a little easier because um when you do a rank at least in this form you can't really do it by saying okay well rank it this way first this column first and then rank it off of this second column so in this way we put the rank automatically kind of like factored into this little um, sum at the end and then the last one was possession percentage so when I say possession percentage I, I put in here the number of cells on my sheet that it belongs to the team and then uh, so I do eat for each team and so what I'm going to do is the, the first one is possession for the team itself and then 80 the, this one here 82 is the possession for their opponent so we're going to go equals uh, we're going to take AA2 which is their own possession and we're going to divide it by the sum of AA2 and AB2 right there and so that's all of that data. I could save this now. And that's fine. This shouldn't be yelling at me yet. Now the trouble is I have I have this this guy here is built off of that stat sheet and this guy is as well. So when I come over here and delete this it's going to, uh, well, we're going to have to do it at some point anyway, so let's just do it. And now let's hit refresh all. Yeah, and a bunch of errors, that's fine. 
part of it is is that I have this still open. So let's refresh all. So there, we brought all that stuff in from the other database. Trouble is, this is, uh, well, if we refresh all here, it's probably going to be... Uh, So I deleted add-on stat. So that's where this is kind of like giving me hell. So what are we going to do? All right. Well, what we'll do is we will go here and we're going to say, okay, let's, uh, da, 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 da. we're going to insert another pivot table. Let's just start from scratch. We'll go to existing worksheet. And if you click on this little guy right here, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. You can come over here to your same standings table and go, I'll put it right here hit enter and then go okay so what are we going to go off of well then we got all the, this stuff right in here let's go with wins draws losses adjusted points and we'll go uh, where's our Goal scored and goals against and differential there. And now all we have to do is put should put be able to put this team in the rows in there. So that's that's the that's the gist of that guy right there for the most part. I'm gonna click right click here and go pivot table options. I'm gonna say stop auto fitting so that way when I So that way when I change these guys, it's not going to screw me up too badly. So let's go wins. Let's do this first. Let's hit save. We'll come back to this. Let's close this. I'm going to open up entry again. And I'm going to change these headers because I want to have W, D, and L. So I'm going to change, make this wins, draws, losses there. So that way, because when it pulls it in, when you do these pivot tables, it will not let you rename the column the same thing that it already is. So let's go back into tracking. And this will probably, let's do refresh all. This might yell at me here because I just changed that to wins. Oh, it's still trying to draw off of that. Add-ons, it's not there anymore. That's okay. We're going to delete it here shortly. Let's put W. What? All right, we'll put it back to this. Is it that I need to refresh this? Maybe that's the problem. No, I did. I just, uh, it's going to keep yelling at me about that. I'll tell you what, let's just, uh, let's go up here to pivot table. So one thing you can do is you can go select entire pivot table here and then hit the delete button and it's gone. There goes our ranks. It's like, Oh no. Um, and because we did this, it's decided, because I changed these, it's decided it's not happy. So now what we're going to have to do is come down here and do some movement. So you can slide these guys up. Draws, you can slide it up. You can just grab it and drag it. Can you see that? You can, I think. Losses, it's going to come up here after draws, if I can get it to work. Uh, it wants to keep moving down. Let's let's put that there first and we'll move that. Oh. There, wins, draws, losses there. So now I should be able to put W, D, L, points, sum of, it's goal, uh, goals for, goals against, uh,
I'll have to change that one at some point. It'll be okay. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> so, gonna center all this stuff. Okay, so here's a little trick. Well, what am I going to do with this now? It's like not in the right spot. Well, if you come up here to team and you go design, there's a pivot table. Oh, yeah, here it is. Pivot table, analyze, move pivot table. You can click on this and say, oh, I want to move it right here. Enter. Okay. Bang. And it's still giving me this rank thing. It's because I removed the references. Now it's unhappy. Oh. So, and the other problem right now is that we have, so I used to have the names, right? Well, it's not there anymore. So let's go to more tables. You want to create a new pivot table? Yeah, let's do it. Just thinking. So I needed to add another table in here because that's where I have, I have a connection I just crashed. I just crashed this, didn't I? Let's see. Did it screw me? How badly did it mess me up? Not too bad. Anyway, I uh, when I created this, let's let's do this. Let's go. Uh, not, not move. Let's select. Entire pivot table and let's delete it. Let's let's start over here. So let's go to team stat table and let's try it again. You could also go to a new worksheet and then do that move trick into the one you really want. We'll just put it here for now. Okay. And it might force me to, yeah, I think it's going to force me to do, all right. So what we want to do here is, I want to have column six. But first I want to start getting these others. So is this table one? No. We got to take a look here and see what what is the name of this table. So look under table design. Where'd my mouse go? Uh, my I have a battery driven mouse and it's starting to fail. I'm gonna have to get out my other one. It's a uh, it's a uh... hmm. Uh oh. That's. That's tough. <laughs> uh, I'm out of I'm out of USB ports on my computer, and my mouse died. So that is a bummer. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, tell you what, I'm going to take out my camera. So you're not going to be able to see me for a while. Lucky you. <laughs> so let's see, do I get my mouse back now? Do I get my freedom back? I do. Yay. All right. I'll have to charge that overnight. That other guy. Uh, okay. So I want to find out what this team stat table's name is. It is table. That is table one. All right. I was wrong. I was, uh, maybe I was right the first time. Right here. Yeah. So table one, we're going to want all of this stuff here. Let's go. Where? 
Where's all where are all the other goodies? That's kind of weird. That is a little on the strange side because What does this say if I come over to this part here? What does this say? Still says table one. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and hit. We'll hit refresh all, and it's going to give me this add-on stat baloney. This other table that I had to delete. Is it going to give it to me now? Nope. Let's go refresh all here. Hmm. Well, that didn't end up working out yet. Yet being the operative word, we will get there. It's just, it's being a little contrary. Okay, there's that. So let's come back here. How about you work for me this time? See, some of this uh, you just have to do like trial and error. It's, uh, let's see, do we got the wins and losses in here now? Yeah, there we go. Now let's see if we can create this new pivot table. There we go. And now let's go into table one. These guys should be in here now. No, they aren't. That's weird. That is messed up. Huh. That is crazy. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to shut her down now because I don't, I'm going to need to figure out why this is deciding to um, do this. It could be that the connection is poor, so, you know, maybe I made a connection to a previous iteration of this table, so it's forgotten. So maybe that's, let's try... Let's try something here. Let's go. Where is that at? Is it under table design? Um, queries and connections. This is the one that's not right, so let's delete this. And then we will try to reestablish that connection. So see, it's, it's just wiped that out, which is fine by me because it's already messed up. But let's go, let's go ahead and insert another pivot table here. And we're just, you know, you gotta do some trial and error with this stuff, right? All right, so let's see. So we're back where we got all that stuff. Now we're gonna go more tables. I wanna create a new pivot table, yes. And now we have um, 
again, table one. That is that is wacky. I'm not getting it over here on this guy. On this guy, I have table one right here, right? And it's got all the stuff. Maybe I need to add all this stuff in here. Let's let's go ahead and add these guys and then we will see. Maybe that will help. Let's see. Does that help me? Nope, it crashed. <laughs> Maybe we're on the forefront here where we are coming up with new things that are breaking Excel. That's That can be fun, right? All right. Let's try this again. Maybe it has nothing to do with any of that. So I'm stumped. I'm a little stumped right now, but what I'll probably do is get off of here and as soon as I get off of this thing and do it, it will figure itself out. Let's go ahead and select these guys. Adjusted points, scored against differential. Whoa, okay. But now I want to have I want to have these team names here. So let's go to more tables. Okay. Okay. Don't crash. It crashed. All right. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have to show you guys how to do this now that uh I've made some changes and there are times in the world where you make a change and it will mean the end of your fun and you've got to make uh, some reestablished connections. What I may need to do is um, reestablish this connection with the database. And from there, let's just try one. We'll go more tables. Nope, it's just not happy. So anyway, I'm going to sign out of here because this isn't doing me any good and it's not going to be doing any of you any good. But we're on here an hour. Hopefully you've learned a few things early in the video. The later stuff here may be a little bit uh, not so helpful for any of you. But um, I'm, I'm going to figure this out. And, uh, you know, in the long run, it's going to help me to have this stuff in the other, in the other uh, workbook calculating and then importing it's just i got to figure out how to reestablish these connections so anyway have a good night and see you soon leave questions if you have them on anything you've seen here that you might it might confuse me too so uh anyway good